Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo, February 26, 2023. Today holds much promise for making connections or communicating positively. Things that keep you connected can figure strongly or improve. You are focused on healing energy, positive reinforcement, and healthy competition. Creative energy is with you for promotion and if needed. You can feel supported and peaceful yet pleasantly stimulated. The moon moves into your solar house, however, and while you've been more active and open with others these days, this brief, two-day transit suggests a need for more depth in your relationships and projects or the desire for more introspection. When it comes to understanding the multifaceted aspects of your relationships, you can look at many unique aspects. However, how an individual is raised particularly in relation to family and parents can give great insight into how one will perpetuate their lives going forward. Pallas, an asteroid that dances between the planets Mars and Jupiter, has awoken upon the sea foam of Cancer. Because Pallas is tied to wisdom and insight, we can understand how to better empathize and nurture others through the sensitivity of our hearts. Recognize how you engage with this energy and infuse it into your relationships. What do you want to do? You may feel more secure with your work life when you are following your intuition as the sun in Pisces sextals the north node in Taurus. Leaning into your gut feelings can help you create a more altruistic work routine since you will be following habits that are attuned to your professional needs. Doing so can actually help you feel more stable about work. You may even notice that following your intuition could lead to greater professional and financial empowerment. Your hard work will ultimately set you up for success. As the moon makes its ordinary monthly visit to your financial sector, it is crossing the lunar nodes today and with perfect timing. This is something that will make any balance issues between money coming in and money going out more transparent but with your financial instincts sharp just as a friendly aspect between the sun on the job and the south node on the income front peaks, this also makes the potential more transparent. This period is all about transformation, something you will be particularly well adapted to do, using the positioning of the planets as a safety net to make the emotional changes you need in your life. Try to separate the chaff from the wheat, so to speak, and concentrate on the relationships that give you sustenance. Likewise, choose to eat what gives you strength rather than what takes away your strength. Getting enough rest is imperative when you are living life to the fullest. Your personal space is likely to be very important to you. On a day like this, home is often where the heart is. Taking the time to adorn your environment with the colors and objects that bring you the greatest pleasure can do more than you realize. It can give you more energy and faith to keep going at times when you are feeling low. Even if you only have a room that you can call your own, make it an extension of who you are. Creating a haven can bring a lot of joy. When the moon returns to your financial sector each month it will not only fuel your financial instincts and imagination and bring a valuable chance to check in on money matters but will also cross the lunar nodes. This will highlight a balance between money coming in and money going out and if there is an imbalance there can be some financial tension. However, this comes just as a friendly aspect between the sun in your work sector and the south node in your income sector peaks turning any financial tension into motivation on both sides of the financial fence. Thanks to the moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday, the only visit while Venus, the planet of love is here has left you more emotionally engaged. Still in her first week here, this will ensure you are paying attention as Venus clashes with the dwarf planet series in Libra today, putting a balance between your personal and relationship needs to the test. Venus is your ruling planet so she will be using this as an opportunity to create the right balance. Our eyes in the sky. Today, the sun moves through the astrological sign of Pisces and forms a powerful connection with the nodes of destiny. This celestial event brings forth an energy that inspires you to focus on your physical well-being. Take a moment to connect with your body and consider incorporating some light stretching exercises into your routine. Despite the ongoing responsibilities that require your attention, the day is likely to unfold at a comfortable pace. 
This will allow you to approach your to-do list with a relaxed mindset and make meaningful progress without feeling overwhelmed. Additionally, you may find yourself drifting into daydreams as a means of escaping the monotony of daily life. If this happens, embrace the imaginative visions that emerge and allow them to inspire you. Trust that the creative impulses that arise during this time can guide you towards new possibilities and opportunities for growth. Overall, today's astrological alignment offers a powerful invitation to prioritize your physical well-being and engage with your imagination. By honoring these energies, you can tap into the full potential of this day and create a sense of flow and ease in your daily routine. The moon leaves behind its void of course phase and enters the stable and grounded sign of Taurus. This cosmic shift brings a heightened emotional sensitivity to our physical bodies over the next couple of days. If you find yourself feeling off balance or disconnected from your physical self during this time, it's essential to prioritize self-soothing activities. Consider indulging in a relaxing massage or taking a long, luxurious shower to help you feel more present and grounded. In addition to these soothing activities, nourishing your body with healthy and satisfying foods can also help you feel more in tune with yourself. Consider incorporating fresh fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains into your diet to support your physical well-being during this time. Another way to connect with your physical self is to spend time in nature or work with tactile creative materials like clay, earth, or fabric. These activities can help you ground yourself and reconnect with the present moment, providing a sense of stability and security. Overall, the moon's journey through Taurus is a powerful reminder to prioritize our physical well-being and tune into the needs of our bodies. By embracing self-care activities and connecting with the natural world, we can cultivate a deeper sense of grounding and presence in our daily lives. After sunup, Venus opposes Ceres, confusing our ability to care for ourselves and others. Venus in Aries speaks to our desires, and what we now want is to serve our own independent needs. We are more self-concerned when it comes to making romantic decisions. We strive to take up more space within our partnerships, demanding the freedom to express our feelings honestly and spontaneously. Yet Ceres, the goddess asteroid of nurturance, is transiting Libra, a sign of balance and harmony. Ceres encourages us to support others by being a voice of reason. It wants us to surround our loved ones with beauty, and to nurture through subtlety rather than direct force. When these two bodies clash, we feel like it's impossible to meet others' needs, or our own. Our behavior in relationships can get downright weird, confident and assertive one minute, shy and reticent the next. Our emotions are big, but we fear showing them and coming off too strong. Naturally, it may be better to wait for a more opportune time for romantic declarations. Otherwise, we will confuse others by attempting to play both the lover and the mother role, and that can get unattractive fast.